Danny Melnick ran the production entity of the Suskind, for the Suskind company, and one day he called me in. He had already called Mel in, and a beautiful example of bottom line. He said to me, have you noticed that the two huge hits wandering around the world out there in the film business are Bond and Clouseau? Get the picture? Yeah, I get the picture. And the Get Smart series was born. It was written under a contract with ABC. And as soon as ABC read it, they asked for rewrites. And then they asked for more. And they said, well, we can't impose this kind of stuff on a family having dinner in their homes. I think they thought it was sort of un-American. The pilot, Mr. Big, first aired in September 1965 on NBC and is one of Buck's favorites. So you're Mr. Big. I love the pilot because it's, it's very creepy. Face to face. The year the pilot was made was a, still a black and white year. And then a season went by and we went into the series, by which time everything was in color. You couldn't shoot in black and white. We, we had no idea who was going to be cast in it. Someone, this is the legend, was going up the steps of the Beverly Hills Hotel carrying the pilot script. And Grant Tinker was walking down the steps. And he said, what do you got? Uh, we've got this pilot for a funny guy. Careful. Some of it's getting in your mouth. Grant Tinker took it and said, hey, looking for a show for Don Adams. And it was odd because everyone assumes the fit had already happened. Barbara was easier. She'd been around on television. So we knew her, and I knew that she was really good. We loved Ed Blatt. He was a wonderful character actor, and he was a really sweet and gentle soul. Maxwell Smart is Mel's. 99 is mine. The Cone of Silence is mine. It never worked. It was always a, a, a triumph of misdirection. Shoe phone is Mel's. This is 86, calling control. This is The framing story is completely Leonard Stern. It's maybe, I think, one of the greatest framing devices ever used in television comedy. Don wanted to shoot people and get in real brawls and be like James Bond. We were trying to accommodate this desire. He got his nose broken by doing, you know, he said, I don't need a stunt man. I know when to duck. Welcome. Bang. Aside from receiving an Emmy for co-writing Get Smart's two-part episode, Ship of Spies, Buck is also an award-winning screenwriter who adapted for the big screen such legendary films as The Graduate. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. All five major studios turned down the package. A kid having an affair with one of the best friends of his parents. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. Was not a... Uh, it was a tricky situation. Aren't you? Will Get Smart ever be a play? Would you ever like it to be on Broadway? You mean if they made a big musical out of it? Well, I would if it granted me a steady income for doing very little work. It's the first I've ever, no one's ever suggested that. So you'll get a piece of it. You'll collaborate with me on that? No, I won't collaborate. <laughs> I'll, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll share my uh, wealth with me. Yeah. <laughs>